Hi everyone, this is Rafsan Zilani from Educo Pathways and I would like to welcome all the students and their parents to another exciting Educo Life session. And now I'm also excited to have Mr. Hamza from uh, APU joining all the way from, uh, I'm sorry, I was about to say Malaysia, Dhaka, <laughs> uh, right Hamza? Right. Hello. Thank you, Rafsan. Thank you so much. Uh, always a pleasure to talk to you and your amazing team from Educo Pathways. This is Hamza here, the regional representative. So I look after South Asia and Middle East and as well as North Africa. So we'll be discussing more about the courses, about the scholarships, about the fees and so on and other opportunities. Over to you, Rafsan. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Hamza. Uh, so uh, Mr. Hamza will be giving us a presentation of APU University. So, uh, Hamza, floor is all, all yours. While you do your thing, I'll take a nap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is always a, uh, an amazing experience to uh, uh, watch you giving presentation. So, you may start now. Thank you so much, Rafsan. I'll take over. And here we go. So I am from Asia Pacific University, also known as uh, Asia Pacific University of Technology and Innovation, or shortly abbreviated as APU Malaysia. So moving on uh, about Asia Pacific University, uh, we started back in 1993 as a public institute. So when Malaysia was coming up with the Twin Towers, with the economic developments and a major development, that it's the time when Malaysia needed IT graduates. And eventually over the period of time, they needed to build an institute that gave us world-class uh, students so that they can cater to the government and to the economic development. And that's how AFID came up, Asia Pacific Institute of Information and Technology. And over the period of time, became a fully fledged university. We do have overseas campuses in Sri Lanka and as well as India. But anyways, those are just pathway campuses. Students will still have to come over to Malaysia for the final one. And for as a trusted educator, we have had over 50,000 alumnus from APU already. So, uh, so 50,000 students and above have graduated from APU and these students have been employed here and everywhere. And that's how we grow a strong network of connection. Also, in regards to employability, we're rated 100% employable, which I'll be discussing further on. And we have about 14,000 students from 150 countries. That makes us one of the most multicultural universities in the entire of Asia, I would say. All right, moving on, uh, we are a university that is a, under an education group which we call as APET. So we do have the university, the college, and the language center, as well as overseas campuses. That's all under the same education group. Uh, moving on, why study at APU, right? Uh, you always have this question. So first of all, uh, all the Malaysian universities are under a Setara rating system, which is a local rating system before we move on to QS. So under QS, uh, will be separate and under Setara will be the five stars is the maximum. So AP falls in the most excellent tier category. Not only that, Asia Pacific University is also a premier digital tech university status. That means we're one of the top notch university when it comes to technological infrastructure. Additionally, we're rated 100% employable, as I was advising you earlier, because uh, this study is not done by us or any second party or third party. This is done by Ministry of Higher Education, what we call as a graduate tracer study. Not only that, we have about uh, 12,000 students, as I, as I was advising you earlier, we're rated number one for uh, multicultural learning experience and we're amongst the top 10 universities in Malaysia. Uh, so that's a great privilege for students to study in under QS Asian Rankings 2022. Uh, so under the QS ranking, definitely we'll move on. And not only that, under we, there's something called QS rating. So under QS rating, we're rated five stars plus. So we're one of the 19 in the world and actually the first Malaysian university to fall under this category. That means when you are a student of APU, you are actually uh, with the best of the best, right? That creates a significant importance. Right, moving on. So we're rated number one for international students as per QS Asian rankings. And not only that, we're ranked amongst the top 50 for international faculty. We're amongst the top 280 universities under QS ranking. Uh, so I was advising you. Moving on. So we do have two campuses. One is the uh, main campus and the other one is the language center and as well as the examination center. Uh, we're located in Kuala Lumpur. So basically it's the heart of Malaysia or we could say heart of the city. Eventually, we are located roughly 10 to 15 minutes away from the Twin Towers, because when you think of Malaysia, you think of Twin Towers, and we're just located very nearby. 
Um, so what happens is our campus is built on 18 acres of land. We do have various blocks. So the entire campus is well built and is state of the art and can host up to 30,000 30, students at one go. So it's a humongous campus, humongous facilities, tons of opportunities available for all the kinds of students. Uh, these are some of the snapshots. This is the front. This is basically more pictures of the front place. This is where you enter. This is where you have your first induction with the university itself. And uh, center point, the university has a center point which hosts all the cafeteria and all that. Uh, auditorium, auditoriums are for students who are basically opting for larger classes. So each of the auditoriums can seat over 300 students. Now there's a talk show called TEDx. So we also host TEDx and a lot of motivational shows. And uh, this is also one of the auditoriums. Uh, further auditoriums. And cybersecurity talent zone. So one of the, we are the only university in Malaysia that that is equipped with a military grade infrastructure for cybersecurity education. So I know these pictures look like as if they're taken from an FBI movie, but to be honest, no, it's just a it's just a snapshot of our campus uh, campus labs. Our XR studio, so XR is a mixture of, uh, uh, of virtual reality and augmented reality, also known as mixed reality studio our it labs furthermore our library the best part of our library is the theme is adopted from uh google office so what happens is it kicks in creativity and innovation so it's very unique actually i would say uh, our furthermore students lounge our classrooms our furthermore student lounges our resident lounge cafeteria so our cafeteria is uh, one of the places which hosts different kinds of food, whether it be Indian, Chinese, Malay, Japanese, Italian. Uh, it hosts all kinds of foods and all the foods are halal. For Bangladeshi students, they don't, they don't really have to worry about anything. All right. Are the more snapshots of the cafeteria, engineering labs, postgraduate centers for students who are coming for masters, PhD, and so on. So there's furthermore opportunities available. Design and drawing studios for students who are coming under the design faculty, animation, visual effects, and concept design, design workshops. So green screen studios, language center classrooms. We do have facilities on campus as well as amenities. So there's an on-campus clinic, there's a convenience store, there's ATM machines, cash deposit machines, so much more actually. Sports facilities, as you can see over here, we do have three gym, we do have three futsal court, two basketball courts, two volleyball courts, and as well as badminton courts. And as you can see, we also uh, host different kinds of uh, self-defense, such as wushu, uh, taekwondo, kickboxing, uh, eventually furthermore. So it's a, it's a, it's a campus where uh, it's very happening. It's a sweat zone or what we call as the uh, gym. Campus Connect, so students who are using our uh, shuttle bus services. Our on-campus accommodation looks like this. It's basically the last building of the campus. This is how a single room looks like, and this is how a sharing room looks like. Right. The vision and mission is, uh, I'm going to go brief about it. The vision is to be a world-class university, as always, uh, with uh, ensuring the fact that it is always affordable and for the students to get educated because uh, an educated community is the best community we can all have in this world. Uh, APU is actually uh, a learn, uh, APU digital learning hub because we are always focusing on how to improve our education services. It's so much important actually. If you look into ongoing projects, we're creating asynchronous uh, learning env environments, and then we're also creating hybrid learning designs to better cater our students and to ensure that our students are learning the best. Uh, Moodle-based designs is whereby our students are learning to adopt to uh, online culture instead of being just focused on notebooks and all. So what we do is all our lectures, notes, tutorials, and slides are always uploaded in the portal and the students are always requested to download it from the portal and study instead of wasting papers. So we're also trying to go green. Um, and also we are one of the universities that's coming up with micro credentials. Micro credentials is whereby students can come up with uh, basic certifications and all that. All right, we were the first university to host e-orientation or what we call as the online orientation with the first university in Malaysia once the pandemic came up. And we also rated five stars plus for our online learning uh, under QS. 
for digital transformation IR 5.0. So what happens is as uh, students will be graduating in further time, uh, the job scope and the entire industry will be different. And for that, the main reason is that the students have to be equipped with the latest technologies and the students have to be equipped with education that is foolproof and future proof. And that's one of the reasons APU focuses on this and some of the areas that we look into is mobile technology, Internet of Things, data science, cybersecurity, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, mechatronics, digital marketing, digital leadership, fintech, so much more. The best part about studying at APU is you get to have the opportunity of studying uh, at APU and getting dual degree certificates. So uh, students have the option. The first option is to study the whole course at APU and getting two certificates, one from APU and the other one from Demon Fort University, UK. So Demon Fort University is a 151 years old university, a, a public you know, public listed university in UK. Uh, it's a great opportunity. And the second option is uh, students can actually study one year or two years at APU and then transfer to the British campus. So there are opportunities. We have a university placement department for our students to be assisted with. Uh, moving on to our programs available. Uh, before uh, advising on the programs, I would like to discuss furthermore on uh, if there are any questions regarding the campus, the facilities or anything. If we do not have questions, then definitely we can move on uh, to the uh, computing uh, and the other programs that are available at EPU. Uh, some questions, but I will ask it by the end of uh, the presentation. Okay, Rafsan, noted. We'll move forward with the process. All right, so under the Faculty of Computing Technology and Games Development, uh, there are a few programs, actually not a few, we are the university with the highest number of computing programs in the entire of Malaysia. So let's say you type in Google Computer Science Malaysia, Computer Engineering in Malaysia, and so much more. So if you just type in Google, you'll always find APU. The reason is because we have the highest number of courses, such as if you look into it, we have IT, we have IT with various specialisms such as digital transformation, internet of things, FinTech, financial technology, mobile technology, information system. Then we have software engineering with computer science with various specialisms. Like if someone asks you to just go and study computer science, don't. Go for our specialisms, go for data analytics, go for digital forensics, foolproof yourself, for the future, be equipped for the future. And then you can also go for cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, uh, computer games development, multimedia technology with a specialism in virtual reality, augmented reality. These opportunities will always take the students one leap forward. When they are going for jobs tomorrow, these are the available jobs, right? Uh, why study computing at APU is because we have the highest number of collaborative industrial partners. So the industrial partners not only mentor our program, they also hire our students for internships and full-time employment. So a few of the companies that you uh, are uh, aware of, such as Microsoft, IBM, Mtech, and uh, Oracle, and Amazon, so much more actually. And that's one of the reasons when you study at APU, you're actually studying something from the real world, not from something that is uh, artificial or something that's fictional. All right, we are the only university uh, that has been winning a full academic excellence awards education provider since 2017. So our students have so much of opportunities actually. Uh, some award for our students. The reason why I'm showing the awards is because so that if students are aware that why do we study and they have so much of collaborations and so much of industrial partnerships uh our students are also winning our students are also winning awards to ensure that uh they are up to the mark we have won the best award for research and innovation poster competition we have won the best award for national packet tracer challenge uh for the best ict alliance uh we are actually top of the world for guilty it competition but we, we were the champion, we were also the first runner-up. So that is fascinating. And we have AI Ethos IT Challenge in 2020, the F-Secure, which is the cyber security. So we have stood, stood out amongst 161 teams from 29 universities nationwide. So being a champion at, at such a competition actually proves that our students are one of the best. A uh, university's success is always by the students and for the students and of the students. So uh, that's what we believe in and that's how we are growing over the period of time. Uh, under the Faculty of Business Management, Marketing, Media, Tourism and International Relations, we have various programs. We have uh, business management, we have business management with a specialism in e-business, 
digital leadership, we have international business management, marketing, then we have specialism in digital marketing, uh, human resource, and as well as tourism management. Now, the best part about studying at APU is uh, not only are you, you get uh, additional facilities and additional programs such as e-business or digital leadership, you also get SAP ERP Alliance certificates. So students who are studying at APU business programs, they get additional certificate of ERP enterprise resource planning. And students also get CMI if students or want to opt for it, they can also get CMI uh, certificate. Now, CMI is a chartered management uh, certificate. Uh, let's say students who are planning to become managers or chartered managers, they can, they'll can they always have to go for CMI accreditation. Not only that, we are also an alliance of the AACSP, which is the best, big, uh, biggest and the most busiest and the most famous and widely known uh, business alliance in the world. So uh, most of the universities that offer business in the international level and in the top top, top tier level, they always have to be a member of AECSP. Uh, we have also, also built an enterprise resource system. Uh, so under this, we do bring a lot of um, uh, startup uh, entrepreneurs. We also bring up a lot of uh, owners that are old. And eventually what happens is they share the experiences and we get to know more on how they tackle the obstacles. So furthermore, such as we have CEO, CTO series, Enterprise at APU, Enterprise Wednesday, these shows are actually motivational. It's the students' wish if they want to opt for it or not. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's always beneficial because this is an opportunity where you get to connect, where you get to learn, where you get to understand the future of the things that you might be facing. Moving on. All right, our students have also won the best award for online business model. Uh, we do have psychology, media, and international departments. So under, we do have various programs such as media and communication studies, international relations, psychology. So options are more, more than available, I would say. Uh, we do have Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Uh, we do have accounting and banking programs. These, so uh, under accounting, we do have various specialisms such as forensic accounting, taxation, internal audit, forex and investments. We do have banking and finance as well with various uh, specialisms such as investment risk management, financial technology. So the common mistake that students come up with is, uh, so what is the difference between accounting and finance and banking and finance? Accounting finance is all about numbers cash in, cash out, uh, debit, credit, so on and so forth. And these are basically with the numbers. So if you study accounting, you can be employed anywhere, even in a company, because companies do need accountants. But when it comes to banking and finance, it's about more of the products and services of a bank, right? And we also have actual studies and furthermore. Uh, the best part about studying accounting and finance is so let's say you study three years degree honors degree with us and then upon completion if you plan to get a professional certification from acca there are a total of 13 papers in acca but because you have done your bachelor's degree with us you have nine papers exempted out of the 13 papers so that's a great advantage again all right now, moving on, even our actual studies, which is students who are interested in mathematics and uh, quantitative studies uh, and uh, so on, so on uh, they can offer actual studies. And under our actual studies, it's amongst the top four in Asia that have that has accredited full accreditation, not only by IFOA, but also Society of Actuaries. All right, we do have engineering programs, so electrical and electronic engineering, telecommunication engineering, mechatronic, computer engineering, and as well as computer engineering. All our programs are fully accredited by Washington Accord and as well as the Board of Engineers, Malaysia. We do have design, advertising, and animation programs as well. So we do have industrial design, visual effects, digital advertising, animation. Uh, so we have built few designs, our students. Our students have also won the best uh, James Tyson Award. So students who are often from the design industry, they would often, it's, it's the dream goal to be a member of the champion or at least be the champion of sustainable design, champion of the James Tyson Award. 
We've, we're also one of the universities that has uh, built a car of its own, what we call as the Proton Invictus. So if you tap in Google, you'll find about it. So students of APU from mechatronic engineering, electrical and electronic engineering students, transport design, uh, uh, product design students have come up together and designed this car, made up this car. So it's an achievement and we've won the best uh, concept car championship. So it's uh, the entire body was given to us by Proton. Proton is a Malaysian car company the more design concept of how a chair can be in 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 a cafe uh how to build a two-way relationship with a with a plant uh furthermore shoe cleaner uh benches for train stations All right. Now moving on to a uh, few more slides, such as the postgraduate studies. So postgrad, we do have various programs. We have masters in IT-related fields, backgrounds. We do have masters in data science, software engineering, artificial intelligence, in business, finance, accounting, project management, so on and so forth. There's so much of options, even in our masters. Uh, and students who are interested to study masters or PhD by research, they can always opt for it as well we do have mphil in engineering mphil in management mphil in computing and then we also have phd in various fields and as well as students who are, who are planning to study open and distance learning uh, who are just planning to study online there are opportunities for them as well university programs are mostly for students who complete o levels or what we call as the secondary school certificate in bangladesh ssc so we do have study abroad programs. Um, our career center, why is it so important? All the bachelor's degrees at APU are basically equipped with an internship. So students who are planning to do undergraduate study at APU will have to opt for internship for four months. So uh, for that, we have a career fairs at APU throughout the year. And eventually whereby HR managers are there on spot and they're conducting interviews and so on and so forth. Industrial visits, we do arrange industrial visits for our students as well. Uh, so this way, students get to learn what is out there in the real industry. For example, a few pictures of our students in the petroleum engineering, a few students from our data science students, and a few more students from our cybersecurity. Uh, in Malaysian Airlines, our students are with the Malaysian Airlines to understand tourism and hospitality management, and so much more examples. Uh, we are a university that has over 300 awards at local, regional, and international level. Obviously, I'm not, I can't really display all, all of these because of the time constraint, but these are some of the pictures that are available of the awards won at different international competitions by APU and APU students. We do have a student welcome team, so whenever a new student is coming on board, we ensure that the students are being taken care of from the first spot to the last. Our multicultural night hosts different shows, different cultures, different events. It's one of the major multicultural events in the entire of Malaysia. So we showcase different cultures. Like here, we can see that there's a Bangladeshi culture being showcased as well. Festive celebration. So Malaysia is a country that is happening. So there's always something or the something or the other happening continuously. Uh, currently, we are having Chinese New Year throughout Malaysia. So there's a lot of shows happening, a lot of uh, noise, and it's, it's fun. You know, the, it's it's fun to be a member and a part of something. And it, it's it's actually you see a lot, lot of uh, fireworks and furthermore. Uh, basically, the last slide is about the partner universities. So the partner universities at APU are very much uh, enlarged and we have tried to list only a few uh, from these because we have a longer list and definitely not all, the, all of them could be displayed here. So we do have partners in the UK, Australia, uh, America, and then eventually France, New Zealand, and as well as Ireland. So if students want to transfer, uh, they have to study at least one year at APU or they could study two years at APU and then transfer. Uh, that's pretty much it from me. So if you uh, have questions, we'll answer questions and we'll discuss about the scholarship uh, before ending this entire presentation. So the scholarships that we provide is up to 30%, right? So 30% is for all the international students, right? Uh, and it depends on, uh, on the academic qualifications. So the scholarships are merit-based. So the better you score in your HSC or in your A-levels, uh, the better scholarship you get. Not only that, if you score better in your SSC, which is secondary school certificate, or O levels, you also get scholarships for that. So scholarships are open to all the students. There's nothing. There's nothing like quota system where 
okay that students get and the rest don't get as long as you meet the scholarship as long as you meet the entry requirement you're always being granted but again scholarships are always first come first serve basis uh there was uh there's always a term there's always a limit however students are most welcome to apply and eventually we can always consider special situation edico pathways is aware of how these scholarship systems and you can always drop a question to them and ask them if there are anything that you consider to be known about ask them and if you want to speak to us you can also request them that you want to speak to us and they will arrange a meeting somehow uh we'll go back to rafsan and we'll go back to rafsan's questions and if there are any questions that was left out we will definitely come up with it right now uh rafsan you are muted sorry my bad uh thank you for this amazing uh, presentation hamza i always I always learn something new uh, from your presentation. Amazing. Uh, so we'll be moving to our Q&A session now. So uh, our first question today, Mr. Rashik asked, is there any opportunity to study mechatronics? What are the requirements? Moreover, any scholarship opportunities available? Okay, great. So the first thing is the mechatronics. Yes, we have students can definitely opt for mechatronics. So mechatronics is always a better choice compared to mechanical engineering because as the program states, it's a it's a mixture of mechanical and electronics. So mecha from mechanical, tronics from electronics, so mechatronics. So you obviously learn about mechanical and you also learn how electrical engineering influences and the entire thing is being taken forward. Uh, in order to proceed further with that, students need to complete A-levels and they need to have at least two passes, especially in engineering. Uh, especially in mathematics or physics or chemistry in these relevant fields and not only that the this is the requirements so there are furthermore requirements eventually we'll look into it uh, once the documents are being sent over and additionally uh, for uh, uh, scholarships we do offer up to 30 percent scholarships so let's say student has three a's in his uh, a levels definitely the best student gets a 30 percent scholarship if the student has gpa 5 in hsc they also get 30 percent scholarship so it depends from subject to subject uh, i hope that answers your question yeah so i have a question hamza after joining apu with 30 percent scholarship as you have said is it possible for the students to get further scholarship while studying uh, not really. Uh, it's merit based and it's it will be applicable for all the academic years. Yes, 30 percent looks. Uh, I have had faced questions where best students are like 30 percent is less. But again, this 30 percent can be carried forward to the end of the entire program. So it's not like for the first year or the second year. It's for all the academic years. They just need to maintain a minimum CGP. And the minimum CGP is not 4 or 3.8. It's just 3.0 out of 4. Uh, and I had another question uh, regarding credit transfer uh, to DMU. Uh, is there uh, is it possible to uh, transfer credits to other universities? And can you please briefly? Uh, I know you have uh, gone through uh, the credit transfer uh, presentation, uh, but can you please uh, before we end the session briefly talk about uh, credit transfer again? Okay, this is how it's going to go. So uh, what happens is the credit transfer is a very sensitive issue. Whenever it comes over to it, uh, the credit transfers are always being taken care of by the university placement department. And we do have a longer list of universities. It doesn't have to be De Montfort University. There's more universities to the list and students can always go up to them. And if the student wants to plan uh, to... Uh, transfer credits to another university that's not in the list of APU, they can always request to our university placement department. We always take an extra leap and eventually advise the students accordingly. Uh, when it's not a partner university, there are chances that few credits might be missed, right? But the students can always transfer because all of APU's degrees are internationally recognized and most of the ranked universities in the world accept APU's credits fully. Uh, well, uh, well, uh one last question before we end our session what are the available intakes for the rest of this year for uh, undergrad and postgrad okay what are the available intakes okay we do have intakes throughout the year so what happens is the first intake that will happen is uh, just around the corner which is march intake then followed by june then followed by september and then november we have four intakes throughout the year okay amazing 
so that's that's it everyone uh thank you hamza for joining with us i know you are a, busy, a very busy guy but you uh, made uh, time for this session thank you very much and uh, uh, uh thanks to everyone who those who have joined this live session uh those who have been watching this live session uh if you want to contact us, uh, you can find our uh, location and address in our Facebook page. And we do also have a virtual platform where students can meet us virtually in a Zoom platform. So thank you, everyone. Uh, any last words, uh, Hamza? Thank you so much, Rafsan. Thank you, Eduko Pathways, for arranging this session. It's always a pleasure for us to be with a member such as yours and you're a wonderful soul rough son thank you to the entire team behind working at this live show but uh, that's pretty much it from me if students want to come over to apu they can always contact educo pathways please visit their office or uh, visit their virtual office probably and ask your questions if you ask questions they'll be answered but if you don't ask questions you'll be left in the dark so the way to go forward is to ask questions and look out and be uh, as open as you can and until then, Cholo Bangladesh, Cholo APU. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Uh, stay safe, stay well. Uh, see you until next time. Thank you.